What are you talking about? Don't pretend! We know he came clean about your mother! No! Hi! Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruno Beto. Today I'm going to with a movie and other stuff. And today we're going to continue watching Dead for Our Wives. My god, Beth killed herself? She's going to give her kidney to Susan for her to feel important for her. Such a tragic story. Yeah, Bruno single. What were you talking about, Lynette? Oh, Lynette's kids finally went out. <laughs> Gabby is fixing her past. Which I like. I love the scene with the nun in the last episode. And Susan. Susan was being very strong about this thing of maybe I will die. But now she's gonna be fine. Yeah, that's it. Let's watch the episode because I'm anxious, okay? I will up like this video. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me out. And also, I have a Patreon. I'm gonna post for reactions, aliases, and post in videos. Everything has a link in the description. That's it. And let's go. Beth was rejected by her husband. I kicked you out of this house. And abandoned by her mother. Uh -huh. We need some help over here. Uh -huh. Wow, Paul is not gonna be great. We can never know the moment our lives are about to change forever. Mm. Oh, pasta. Coming home after a long day. Enjoying a glass of wine. Oh, her pager. Hello? Susan? This is Craig Linwood from Fairview Memorial. Hello? Mr. Young. This is Dr. Jenkins from Fairview Memorial. Is she dead? We're keeping her on life support, but I'm afraid there's no brain activity. Uh -huh. How soon can we do this? How soon can you get here? Your wife is an organ donor, and we need to stop. You are not to touch her until I get there. No, she already signed the papers, honey. There are moments that change our lives forever, but not always in the way we might expect. Now you feel better. Another thing, oh. Don't touch her, honey. She already signed the papers. It's going to Susan. I don't care about you. The women of Wisteria Lane look for any excuse to celebrate. A bottle of champagne when you're not expecting. For the regard, right? A new dress for turning 39. Again. <laughs> so when my friends heard about Susan's good fortune, <laughs> resist. Surprise! What are you supposed to say when someone gets an organ? Kidney! <laughs> well, I didn't know you'd be bringing an entourage. Well, it's a happy day on our street. I would imagine a bit of a sad one, too. No, I can just call the caterer and say this one. Is <laughs> big deal. Who are you talking about? Your donor, Beth Young. Beth is her donor? Wait, you... That's not a secret. Beth came to the ER with the transplant papers and then... She shot herself. My God. Oh, poor Beth. Oh, but he's gonna feel guilty. Are you okay? I don't know. Yeah, he's harder. Little hint. It reeks of my ties and you gave birth to it. <laughs> oh, Andrew's so hot. I come downstairs to make breakfast and bury it. Oh, the husband! Stew to the gills. Again, Karen, we are so sorry. If I wanted a drunk homo on my couch, I would have married my college boyfriend. Okay, relax. You can let me go. No, all right, I'm okay. Ah, I like that he's back. Andrew, this is not good. Calm down, all right? I just, I just had a little too much fun last night. What's happening here? And sometimes during the week, and now it's every night. I wish you had told me. You know what I've started to do? I pretend I have to work late, so I don't have to come home and deal with him. Ah, uh, no. But I can't take it anymore. I know. It's very difficult. No, Bree, I'm thinking of leaving him. Not yet. Let me try to get him some help. I'll talk to him. No offense, but I don't think you're going to get through to him. <gasps> don't be so sure. Exactly. I'll smuggle vodka into church in a Jesus Saves sports bottle. I can be pretty resourceful. Grab his ass and go to a meeting. Chafing dishes and flatware in the kitchen and eyes off the boobs, but thanks for noticing. <laughs> hey, our spring fling? We're still flinging? Uh, why wouldn't we be? Kinda thought the Beth Young thing might put a damper on the festivities. Why? She wasn't even invited. <laughs> we can't ignore the fact that one of our neighbors is dead. Brain dead. Big difference. She's she awful. Like well, the living did buy a new dress. Versace. And I'm sure Beth would have loved to have seen you in that Versace. She would have, wouldn't she? <laughs> Yo. 
Oh, fabulous idea. Except instead of champagne, let's do mojitos. And instead of Beth, let's toast to us. And the moment of silence would sound great with music. <laughs> She's awful. Oh, sorry. Don't, Susan. Paul, I want you to know how sorry I am. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Again. I want you to know how grateful I am for this gift that Beth is giving me. Obviously. Ah, uh, don't talk about it. Beth is alive and I intend to keep her that way as long as possible. I'm not going to allow you to strip her for parts like some abandoned car. She already signed the papers. This was Beth's idea. Beth was not in her right mind when she signed those forms. All the girls' nights you included her in. Ah. The little gestures of kindness you offered to make her feel less alone. Now you want to blame other people. You all shouldn't blame. You gave her nothing in life. And that's exactly what you're going to get in death. It's not going to change anything. Brie is also a donor, you know? I don't get this. Beth signed the donation forms. And a living will. Those are legal documents. Aren't they binding? Yes and no. What? Look, we can't publicly support you. But if you decide to take this on, we won't stand in your way. You're damn right we're going to take this on. No, we're not. Susan. We're not fighting Paul. This is your life. Bri, Bri's a donor. We forgot about this. His wife shot herself. But this is Paul's decision to make. It's not ours. So what's the point of shiny stuff, you know? Or catering you Oh, it's nothing official, just when I'm needed. And who's the client? AA. They prefer to remain anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Hello, my name is Andrew. My mommy brought me. No one has to know we're related. Andrew, please. Just one meeting. It could save your life. Hey, I see you met Bree. My name's Tommy. Welcome. <gasps> really? First time? Yes, first time. Uh, my name is Elvis. Elvis? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's your name? Yes, it's Elvis. Yet another reason for me to be mad at my mother. <laughs> 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 Bree, for a good cause. Hi, Cole. Uh, I would have played better if there was a windmill. Look at that. This is Glenn Morse, CEO of Morse Technologies, a man who can uh, throw a six iron farther than he can hit with one. <laughs> I barely understand anything. Hi. See ya. Well, nice to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I use the facilities before I hit the road? No, come on in. What happened to you? Who is him? Actually, I don't need a bathroom. I need a CFO. What? My chief financial officer took a job in London, and there's one name on my list for his replacement. Tom. Tom Scavo. Well, Carlos is always bragging about you, so I started asking around. Come to find out, everybody loves you. What's not to love about Tom Scavo? <laughs> <laughs> How much? But no. Well, we just found something not to love about Tom Scavo. What? <laughs> Carlos is a close friend, and we're just starting our busy season. I can't leave him in the lurch. Oh, you're going to leave Carlos. Loyalty. You could try, it never hurts to put in an offer. Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> Lynette, remember she sees him. Pass. This conversation isn't over. I hope you're gonna talk some sense into this husband of yours. Just talk, beat, whatever gets the job done. Can we talk about it? Okay. What's the matter with you? Whatever happened to integrity? Nothing. It got a better offer from Glenn and turned into prosperity. I mean, how much? I appreciate you trying to run my life. This is my decision. And I'm saying no. And also, how much is the difference of salary? Because you're not gaining well with Carlos. And I just realized that, yeah, Lynette had the baby and did it come back to work as we talk about in six season, which is unfair, but all right. Elvis? It's uh, not mandatory, but we'd love to hear from you. He's gonna talk about his mother, I'm pretty Elvis. certain. Uh, no thanks, I, I pass. This is a safe place. No one here is going to judge you. Oh, no. You know, when I hear you guys talk about how other people try to control your lives, <laughs> and I have the same kind of problem with my mother. You know, I, I think her greatest regret in life is the fact that she gave birth to a son and not a puppet. <laughs> She's such a good <laughs> freak. <laughs> Could we not laugh? I mean, uh, we're trying to. <laughs> I ever did was good enough for her. Like in the 10th grade, I... That's a lie. You won the company very well. 
Because she wouldn't even listen to my speech. Well, maybe she was busy preparing dinner for a family of four with no help from her son. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Nobody realized it. He's just trying to share. Well, there is a difference between sharing and whining. Okay, uh, we are... <laughs> Ah, and you have to try. What are you gonna do? Drink all the day? Every day? The party Renee and I are throwing tomorrow night. You're still happy. Ah! Put Roy and me down for a no. But please call us when you have your Hurricane Katrina pool party. You care about Beth? Renee and I are still having our party. <laughs> are you nuts? In case you haven't heard, our friend across the street, Betty Young, just blew her brain. She was not your friend. What were you talking about here? Tragic event has brought up a lot of painful memories for all of us. How could you not realize that? Well, they can all go to hell. We're still having the party. Are you listening to me? Nobody's coming. For 10 years, I've had my spring fling the first Sunday of April. Not the second Sunday, not the third. And not when a bunch of wimps decide they're ready to stop moping. I'm not canceling the party. Okay. She killed herself so I could have her kidney. Why? And Paul's right. I never had so much as a pleasant exchange with the woman. Well, I don't know that the Take reason... Take break! <laughs> hey, hey I'm, I'm reading. Oh. She's awful. Sir. What if I job her? Can I get you anything before we take off? I love that we can see the... You can help me put my bag under the seat. Okay, you're not good at this, so let me do the talking. Forget it, I don't know the name. I'm not taking that job. Ugh. Well, then you'll be handling your own bags from now on. Linda, really? About this. I, I oh my god, I can't. I could tell Carlos about the offer. See if he'll match the number. The seat just opened up. Oh. Awful. And we both know what killed her. If you're trying to blame me for this, if this is your last attempt to use her to hurt me. No. Us. We don't get to use her anymore, Paul. I'm not praying for her. I'm praying for forgiveness. Well, at least she's, she's admitting that it's her fault. I'm so sorry, guys. My I'm I don't even know. Knowing that when the night rolls around, I can just have a few drinks and kick back. And as long as I don't hurt anyone, I think I'm allowed. Every day? Trust me. If you say so. Yes. There's been a terrible tragedy in our neighborhood. Alex left me. Uh, come on, we can. It's like living with a drunk. We can't let gay people be happy. I can't get up in front of a bunch of strangers and, and talk about this. We can have a meeting right here. He became such a hot man. Wow. <laughs> well, that's Glenn for you. He's nothing if not aggressive. Carlos, I swear, I didn't seek this out. Look, our friendship aside, you are a valuable part of this company. Don't say no! But... You know how rough things have been. You've seen the empty desk. We just can't offer you that kind of money. But I don't want to lose you, so here's what I can offer. What? Title bump for Chief Marketing Officer, car allowance, and... Profit participation. How much? How's that sound? It sounds like a bunch of crap. Exactly. It is a bunch of crap. Carlos might as well call you king of all important things and give you a pile of Monopoly money. Why do you keep pushing like this? Because if I don't, you go nowhere. Oh no, you lose it. Wow. Yeah, you say it, Lynette. But as a businessman, you're 46 years old and you're still trying to establish yourself. Opportunities like this don't keep... But he's established it. He's in... Carlos. Stabbing my friend in the back. Do you think Carlos would hesitate for a second if the roles were reversed? Not a chance. That's how he got where he is. He's ruthless. He got where he is because his friend was murdered by the wife. She made the party. This is some crowd. Uh, told you. Well, I'm pretty close to capacity, so you're going to have to scoot along. Now. I'm just stunned so many people came. What's happening? I was going to call you. Is it okay if I clean your pool on Thursday instead of Wednesday? Uh, of course. Honey, the only mix I see is the cotton poly blend on every dress in this room. Look, I... Hey, you two! Beat it! Oh, hot! Oh, my God. Renee! I know you didn't like Beth, but come on, she's dying. And whose fault is that? My God. 
Beth didn't care who she hurt. Her mother, her husband, her daughter. Oh, okay. She didn't have a daughter. Well, amen for that, at least. Oh, it's with her. That is it. It happened with her. Honey, you told me your mom died when you were young. You never said how. Did she take her own life? What do you think? That's why. I'm not making comparisons here, and I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Good. Because I don't. But I think that if you do... Oh, now she's living with therapy. Spring fling might seem shallow and insensitive to you, but it's my way of saying I choose life over death. Now, if you look... It you makes sense. Get back to my lame -ass part. The worst part is that it makes sense. Nice, okay. So that's Zero to 60 in under five seconds, top speed of 160. Really, Annette? No couple. You never care about these. What's happening here? It's for our neighbor. Oh, she's awful. Is something wrong? Guess who's got a brand new slap in the face parked in front of his house? What are you talking about? <laughs> she's so manipulative. The day after he cries, poor to me, he goes out and buys himself a $70,000 Lotus? Only 70? Use your whole mind and do it. You're not gonna have to take the car back. I am in. Yes. Feels good, huh? <sighs> Feels real good. Oh. You know what's gonna feel even better? Telling Carlos to go screw himself. Don't try and stop me. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> uh, I borrowed it from the dealer and I parked it there. What? I know. I'm sorry. It sounds very bad, but I did it for a very good reason. That you can manipulate me into doing whatever you want? Yes. We're taking it back. Then I'm calling Glenn. Just one. Get in. I mean, congrats for the dealership. It's let her, like... Be with the car alone. It would be better if you didn't talk right now. Whoa. Oh. I never care about cars. He's liking it. They don't close till six. I'm guessing we could be a little late. Yeah. Let's be a little late. She's awful. I can't believe you woke up. I've never been to your apartment. Yeah, well, it's not much. I mean, you saw it for the video camera. <laughs> I've alerted the transplant office that we'll be moving forward with her request. I don't understand. Forget a lot of the things that I said. I was terrible to Beth. I was. I never gave her a chance. He was also terrible. I Beth didn't love people because they deserved it. I'm so confused. I... Honor Beth's life by allowing her to make you well. For your friends. Okay, that's the difference. The only, only the talk with the Felicia did this? Okay. Paul. Yes. Can I hug you? I am so... Very, very sorry. I am too. There comes a moment. Wow, I was not expecting this. Wow, this season is great. So serious. The moment we accept a sacrifice. Oh, cute. Or let a loved one go. Ah. Uh. I'm sure this is small consolation. But I've just heard from the parole board. They've decided to grant your request for humanitarian release. My daughter had to die so I could go free. Again, my condolences. Great. But that's it, right? End of revenge, right? Oh no, really? Come on, Felicia. Oh my god, get over it. Your daughter died. Okay, I'm gonna speak really fast because I need to go to the bathroom and I'm gonna go to the next episode. Bre Andrew, great, I love this. I hate the Andrew divorce, the guy, but they're gonna come back. I have faith. Andrew's hot. I really love the scene of Susan and Paul. I really love that. I really hope that Paul learns. If Felicia was not researching vengeance for Martha anymore, she's gonna do it for her daughter. 
went in, got the story, it was nice, but like it was more or less, you know, I didn't care about the party. And Lynette and Tom, I don't agree with the part that saying that Tom was stopped. No, Tom had a great job. But I understand, it could be better, and that's it. Um, well, that's it, guys. Let's go to the next episode. <laughs> At dialysis, Susan made a friend. Oh, that's right. Took her life. We're gonna see him. <laughs> and Bree helped her son face his addiction. I miss I mean, drinking. <laughs> I stopped for a little, but I miss it. She admitted she was powerless over alcohol. Oh, the hair. I miss the hair. <laughs> she made a list of all the people she had harmed. So when her son Andrew dis Ah, beautiful. Ah, 30 days sober. I am so proud of you. Oh, that's nice. No one likes to make lists of people they've done harm to, particularly with your penmanship. There's one person I've been really awful to. What? Give it a chance. Some people are more forgiving than we give them credit for. It's not her. You thought I meant you? Uh, well, of course I did. <laughs> I resent you thinking you've harmed anyone more than me. Uh, well, I have. And if I'm gonna make amends, I need a- Who? And who might that be? Who is this victim number one? Mr. Solis. <gasps> yes, Bree was diligent about following- Oh! I forgot about this. After all, I did sort of kill his mom. Sort of, you literally did. Could recognize a step too far. Andrew, stop! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Slow down. Let's come back drinking. <laughs> Dick is not that bad, eh? How wonderful you were to him after Rex died. You were like a... <laughs> I don't know about that. You were. Now, Keith. Well, that was the same year that my mom died, so I was working through some grief, too. <laughs> Someone just earned another pie. <laughs> Almost. Whoever's in here, I own this house, and I want you out now. I knew it. Well, hello, Paul. <laughs> She's so crazy. I'm just nosing around. Oh, the wiggy. The wiggy's wiggling. You bought a lot of houses on this street, but you didn't want people to know, so you put this one in Beth's name. Oh, Paul. Oh, my goodness. Is this a Gustav Stickley? Do you really think the people on this street want a manipulative psycho for a neighbor? I mean, again? What about my rights? She was my wife. Did I say you couldn't visit her? Drop by any time, Paul. <laughs> She's crazy. Well, honestly, Paul, I understand that you are so awful, but like, you can't catch a break off, so my god. So? Everything looks great, Susan. Oh my god, thank god. But first, I'm going to the dialysis center to visit uh, my friend Dick Barrows. You don't have to go to the dialysis center, he's here in the hospital. Ah, no! Hey, tall, dark, and jaundice. If you still have that new kidney smell. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they became friends. Another viral infection. I'm ah, sorry. Shit. I can't believe you got a kidney so fast. Ah, long story. More suicidal neighbors with donor cards. I didn't laugh when you wrote it on my get well note, and I'm not laughing now. <laughs> oh, great. When I get out of here, I'm taking you to that casino by the airport. Go gamble. Hey, babe, you're home late. I got called down to the legal department. Oh, what happened? A hundred thousand dollars. No way, it is not one hundred thousand dollars. <gasps> it is, it's a hundred thousand dollars! I can't believe it! Oh! Okay, let's travel. The other ten is for you to spend on something fun and totally frivolous, like a mink vest or a... Ah, uh, he's a good husband. It's on me. You're gonna be a jerk about it. I'll spend ten thousand dollars on myself. <laughs> I don't even know how to spend ten thousand dollars on myself. Not tonight. I got a ton of work. Okay. How about Friday? Okay. It's a date. <laughs> oh, don't tell me they're gonna become. Nope. That's a hundred thousand dollars. Don't tell me they're gonna become Carlos and Gabby from the first season. I was going to say how nice it is to have you back in our game until you so charmingly told us to eat it for the third time. <laughs> sorry. I just never been this. I'm sorry, I stopped talking about... He said I was on a... They have money, but they don't see each other. Is anyone going to notice what's different around here? You cut your hair? No. Well, you should. 
I bought a grind and brew coffee master. Wasn't even on sale. Really? Shall I say it? No, please. Allow me. You're pathetic. <laughs> but I don't really need anything. Oh, honey, look around. You need everything. <laughs> ah, mystery solved. Hey. <laughs> you let this happen. Don't look at me like that. I try. <laughs> I'm all in. You didn't even look at your cards. Did you come to play? My god, okay. She's getting lucky. <laughs> Three kings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clothes. I need to buy some clothes. <laughs> you have got to try these on. Nah, I don't, I don't need boots. You will once you try them. But it's ugly. Now, try these. $500 for jeans. $500? You had $400 in the pocket. Look at my ass! Yes. Where does this come from? It came with the jeans. Oh. <laughs> uh, that dress should be altered by tomorrow. Let's make it eight and bring croissants. <laughs> She's so stupid. I hope Andrew brought his rain gear. Here it's gonna pour up there. Oh no, what? Yeah, Carl's was just leaving for a hunting trip and invited Andrew to come along. Okay, see, this is the problem with sobriety. It ruins lives. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one raising two kids with a husband in jail for murder. And Andrew's gay. So it's a hate crime. That's ten more years. Again. You're right, we have to get up there. I'm gonna see if Lee can watch the girls. And I have to get something out of my nightstand. Again. Aren't there gonna be enough guns up there? When one of them is in my hands, then there'll be enough guns. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry for the way I behaved yesterday. <laughs> She's gonna do something too. There was a pretty little lady. When Beth was a girl, it was her favorite place. Why do you want me there? It's what I think she'd want. Is this a plan? I don't trust her. And I don't have a car yet. Shall we say tomorrow around 10? Nobody works. I never understood this. Nobody works in this thing, so... Dick, are you awake? Oh, good. He's not there, huh? Yes, you want a poker. Are you looking for my Uncle Dick? Don't! Uh, did he go home? No, uh, I'm afraid we lost him last You're kidding me! Oh my god. Yeah, he never let on how sick he was. Uh, I'm Wally. Why? Susan. Wally's hot. Why? Hey, uh, he left something for you. Now we'll walk away from when we need to. No, it's it. Ah, this is awful. Free, Gabby, what are you doing here? He's not here. Where's Andrew? We were worried about Andrew. Because he... I don't want to talk about the my fantasy of them alone in the cabin, but okay. Damn it, Carlos, what did you do to Andrew? What are you talking about? Don't pretend! We know he came clean about your mom. No! It was an accident. He didn't mean to run her over. You should blame me. I'm the one who helped him get rid of the car. Oh, no. Mom? Oh, no. You killed my mother? What? No, no, who said that? Park Ranger! <laughs> Sorry you people picked such a lousy weekend to enjoy our park here. Actually, we were just leaving. Oh, freight not. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, I got a deck of cards in my truck in case you get bored. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> Again, that's a fantasy day was ruined. Oh my god, yes. I am checking Tom's ETA so I know when to preheat the oven. And I'm not talking about cooking. I'm I get it. Uh, please stop. Hey, Mr. CFO, the kids are gone. The champagne is on ice. He's not gonna arrive at time. Is that it, right? Uh, I was just gonna call you. I'm on my way to the air. <gasps> I get to Montreal tonight on the jet. What? No. No, this is our celebration. That's the problem. You have money, but you don't have time. Get your mitts off that. We'll have it tomorrow when he gets back. Oh, Lynette. Tomorrow it'll be something else. Yes. It's a big shot now, and the bigger he gets, the less you're gonna see of him. You want the clothes, and the jewelry, and all the other perks. You ask for the job. This is what they really cost. Oh my god, it's a nightmare. Gosh. So sorry her funeral was so tough on you. You're the person we're asking for. I understand that you're angry, but come on. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm good. 
Okay, let me put it down. Oh, no. May she rest in peace. You think that we're still friends? Get mad at me, not the people who just knew about it. Oh, no. Who else knew about this? Whack. Gabby, what was that? <laughs> Nothing, it was a moth. <laughs> Her, I can understand, but my own wife? Inviting his accomplice to dinner parties. You know what? To hell with all of I mean, she knew for a few months. I don't trust myself to be in the same room with you people. I mean, stay in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, please discontinue use of all electronic devices so we can begin our meal service. Ah, that's nice of her. To take off? Not anymore. I pushed your flight back half an hour. Oh, and two unfortunate lobsters. I don't think I ever ate hey, lobster. I'm supposed to sit down with my team the moment I land. I need every second to prep for this meeting. I understand. Half an hour. I walk into a room and people stop talking. They want to know what Tom thinks. I, I, and what about her? Good ship. It's taken me on the ride of my life. Wow. Ah, oh, no. That's... Better. I am really happy for you. Tom. You gave me the confidence to jump at it, and I am so, so grateful. Ah, shit. Who is going to be in on this conference call? Yeah, no. I don't like this. Right. Okay, you went to the casino. So, slots? I can't speak for those two, but I think Lottie gets around. <laughs> no slots. <laughs> oh, they went. Why you look like you are in a limousine? Let's drop it. Think about it. We both saw someone we love be. She is wearing a wire. I love my sister, so I tried to destroy you. With Beth. I'm all for closure. No, I don't think he's gonna kill her. I. Yeah, you got a little left. What's that? Sixty bucks. Good for you, kid. Those are thousand dollar chips. Six thousand. Susan, you won over twelve thousand dollars. I know. Ah, uh, I'm gonna cry. Keep winning. <laughs> People like. He said I was on a lucky streak. He was right. I am. And he didn't. We're out on patrol. I felt something whiz past my ear. It was a bullet. I know. Why ask? Why ask? Exactly. And I'd be crazy to let you keep it. What? <laughs> really? Prison's not a very nice place to live, but I did pick up a few skills. She's not gonna do it. I'll plead self-defense. It is your gun, after all. You pulled it on me. We struggled. It went off. She's not gonna do it. And I don't want us to fear each other. I just want this over. I will believe her, except the end of the last episode. Look, Lee, I'm sorry, okay? My guests were another gay couple who were thinking of adopting a child. They stopped. They're not anymore. <laughs> he asked if I could watch the girls for a few more hours while he drove out to Littleton. I said, why not? I have very few breakables left. What? Illegal? <laughs> I'm hungry. Of course you are. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that Paul was very touched when we scattered the ashes. He even teared up a little at the end. Who are you talking to? Of course, he thought it was really you in the urn. Oh, she didn't do it. What a problem. <laughs> You're going to stay where you belong with me. Okay, here's a plan. About Paul. I'll make him pay for what he did to you. Okay, now he's getting older. By shooting him, no. That's too quick, Eat. too merciful. Ugh. Now he's getting boring. Whatever it takes. I know this must hurt. I'm not hurt. I'm proud. I'm proud. Yes. Well, congrats for the TV show. Something in the first season and the seventh season. We need to apologize. We must try to accept the changes in our lives. Ah. Uh. But sometimes the pain we've caused is so great there is no moving on. Oh, what? <sighs> May I come in? You can go to hell. <gasps> Excuse me? 
I did forgive Andrew. He was a kid that made a mistake. I don't know. But you were an adult. My friend. I covered up for him. Come on, you will do the same stuff for your daughter. We are no longer friends. Not you and me. And not you and Gabby. Yeah. You can't speak for me. I just did. Again? Again? You were speaking for her? Again? You didn't learn anything about Grace? You're not even to wave to us on the street. That's how it's going to be. Ah, for her! It will pass. It always pass. <laughs> Gabi. I mean, congrats to Carlos for forgiving Andrew. But like, ah, come on, you will do the same stuff for your daughters, okay? Okay, I like the story, congrats to Andrew. I really love that they are taking the subject from the first season and finalizing, ending in the seventh season. Congrats. It's a good continuation. I really love when the TV show does this. I really sad about Dick. I really love the scene of Susan. Great actors as always. And come on, you know, Andrew was a character that he was like a grumpy guy. And now we love him. Lynette and Tom, I think I'm correct. It's gonna happen with Gabby and Carlos in the first season. Tom is gonna be away. The worst part is that Lynette's fault, <laughs> as always. I'm loving this TV show. Oh, Paul and Felicia. Felicia needs to glow up, okay? It's over. This part of like, oh, I want revenge of Paul. It's over. Forget it. Oh my god, it's, you, we have this change the first season. Forget it. Continue with your life, my god. And that's it. Well, guys, I really hope you like this video. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me out. And also, I have a Patreon. I'm gonna post reactions, aliases, and post on these videos. Everything has a link in the description. That's it. Thanks so much and bye. But Andrew and Carlos alone in a cabin? Mm-hmm.